Well, following Hurricane Selene and Milton, water quality has been a point of concern for residents and local environmentalists. ABC Action News reporter Casey Albritton learned if it is safe to go back into the water and what you need to know before you head to the beach. I wouldn't go swimming right now, even at the beach, at UNC Beach, because uh, who knows what's floating around out there. John Robinson has been fishing at Clam Bayou Nature Park for years and says the water isn't as clean as it usually is. People's septic tanks and sewage systems and all that have, have all, plus the regular sanitary sewers, all overflowed into the water. And it'll, the bay will clean itself out, but it'll take a couple of months. Hurricane Selena Milton had a huge impact on the Tampa Bay waterways. Well, hurricanes are always pretty hard on water quality because you have a lot of rainfall. Um, and with that rainfall comes a lot of things like sanitary sewer overflows, um, wastewater pollution into those water waterways. Tampa Bay Waterkeeper surveyed the water at the end of October and identified above average fecal pollution, which comes from stormwater runoff and sewage. It doesn't necessarily mean that there are feces in the water, but there's the bacteria that are associated Associated, that can be associated with sewage. A bacteria that Maya Burke with the Tampa Bay Estuary Program is concerned about is Vibrio, a flesh-eating bacteria found in the water. That's something that we've been keeping an eye out here for in Pinellas County, Hillsborough County, uh, Pasco County, Manatee County. She says there's been an uptick in cases since Hurricane Helene. You should be going and being informed before you go out on those waterways. That means things like checking winds and tides, but also checking things like fecal indicator bacteria or or algae blooms that, are, that may or may not be present. People who live in the area say they are still partaking in their day-to-day -day water activities, but they're being cautious. I don't go barefoot or wade with any sores in the water, you know, just because of that. Burke tells me it is okay to get in the water, but people should be aware of the conditions ahead of time. She says the water is improving day by day. It'll come back in, a, I don't know, a couple of months. Or by January, it should be pretty good. I'm Pinellas County reporter Casey Albert in ABC Action News.